Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Blasted Oasis. So it is the morning of day 48. Traders don't open for another like two and a half hours. So we're just going to kick out here for a bit. Uh, we're going to throw down the cab and drive that around today. I got to move some stuff over from the motorcycle though to do that. We're going to take on the construction site today, I think, once we sell all this stuff to the trader. What's up guys? Ooh. Oh, Mo. Taking it on the jaw. All right, let's do some stuff. Now, how much wood do we have? Do we need... I got to get... Uh, we got to get some wood going. I did a bunch of work to the house last night. Um, so I got most of the roof upgraded to the second level of wood. Um, I applied... I don't like these. I got to take these out, I think. They might interfere with the Horde Knight. Um, I don't know if they will or not, but they might so I'm, I'm probably just gonna pull these out I tried to get an angle on the roof but it wasn't really working for me so I think I'll pull these out not gonna do it now though um, we got the same thing here on the other side let's get up on the dumpster but you can see here I kind of was working on the the roof a lot last night trying to get most of that upgraded uh, and repaired Oop, we got a guy out here so I want to try and get some painting done in the next couple of episodes as well. We got the Horde Knight coming tomorrow, so maybe after Horde, we'll go ahead and um, finish getting this house updated and painted. I got another crawler. I'm trying to crank up my game stage as much as possible. I don't think... Let me just see here real quick. We were at 120, yeah, we're at 124 now, so we're not gonna make demolishers on day 49, unfortunately, but we should have a good number of rads and ferals coming. Let's get the cab down. We gotta put some stuff in the cab. I wanna try and make a garage for the cab and for the uh, fire truck. Now, I don't wanna leave. Here's the thing, in my offline playthroughs, I've been monkeying around with this, with this mod here a little bit. I haven't built any cars in the offline playthroughs, but the thing I have noticed is that these things will tend to, in some places, spawn multiple times. So if you take a, a vehicle and then go back to that location, it respawns there again. So I don't want to do that for this. I don't want to be leaving these things out. Oh, this vehicle doesn't have a whole lot of space in it. That's interesting. I did not notice that. That's fine. Uh, let's... Uh, Let's go down to the far trader. We'll drive down in the in the cab. So I'm interested to see how much fuel this thing uses. It actually works kind of good. I'm I'm kind of like shocked at how uh, how good they've integrated these into the game. We'll drive down in the car, and I got the the fire truck on me, so we'll take the fire truck back down to the other trader. Yeah, so it just sounds like the jeep. It's got to put the same speed. Like, you don't go very fast in these things, but that's fine. We can still run over zombies. Excuse me. Oh, we got a hood ornament now. I wonder how long this guy will last for. I wonder if he'll die. Oh, yeah, we're burning through fuel real fast. Oh. If you're gonna do it, do it right. That's what I always say. All right, we got him. All right. <laughs> He's still alive, but I don't care. Yeah, so this thing's gonna burn a lot of fuel. So we're gonna use this vehicle to go back and forth to the traders with. Now, I might use it to go out to um, to the other town too. It's tough to get past this trader because there's a whole lot of junk everywhere here that I can't clear out. Although I guess I can just go around this way. Yeah, I mean, we got room here. Then we can just drive through there. All right, we're just gonna turn this around though. I'm gonna park it here. I'm gonna hit up some trees while we're here today. And then uh, we'll go into the trader. And there's Joel opening. And in case you guys wonder why I rotate the trees around before I plant them, there's nothing worse than, like I watch lots of series, and there's nothing worse than Seeing a tree farm with all the trees looking exactly the same in perfect rows, it just drives me up the wall. And I don't know why. I guess because I want to have it look natural. So I rotate them so that when you plant them and they grow, they're all kind of in turned in different directions. 
Anyway, that's just the only reason why I do it. I should probably grab all the gack out of here before we go in. Uh, right here. Grab all that. And do we have anything we can stick in there? Because we got to leave some stuff in there. Uh, let's leave you and you and you for now. All the stuff we want to keep. So we, we picked up about 2,000 wood. That's not bad. Alright, let's go sell this crap off. Now, I don't know if this is restocked yet. Uh, nope. Alright. That's alright. What do we got in here today? What you got for me, Bubba? Stranger. Hey, stranger. Deals in gain. Do you? Let's hope you do. Alright. Goodbye, candy cane. Uh, you don't want the wrench, eh? Really? Alright, well. That's alright. Uh, just get rid of the rest of this stuff. Now, I know I can hit shift to... Oop, you don't want the wrenches. What's up with you and wrenches today, buddy? I know I can hit shift to collect these things together, but if you guys don't know, my hands are not the best. So that kind of dexterous thing just doesn't work for me. I, I know it's, it sounds strange for me to say that, that it seems like it's dexterous. It's not really dexterous, but for me, the way my hands are, it is. So I don't think you have anything we want here, right? Yeah, it's the other guy that has the stuff that we want. Y'all come back now. Yeah, I just wanted to drive the cab down here, man. That's all I wanted to do. I don't care. Uh, I don't really care about this other stuff. All right, we're going to take the fire truck back because I want to see what the fire truck looks like. So let's go ahead and grab all this stuff out of you. And we'll pick you up. So unrealistic, but whatever. We'll just pretend it's parked in the back of the fire truck. Right? Sure. Wow, that's like... Look at this thing. It's too bad we couldn't use this ladder. That'd be awesome. Like rather than having a nerd pull up the side of a building, you just extend the ladder up. I wonder if that guy's still over here. Ah, no such luck. It feels really slow though. Like I'm on, I'm going maximum speed at the moment. But it feels like it's just really slow. Although it's not burning through any gas, so it must have a huge tank. It doesn't... I mean, it handles okay. I don't feel like I'm being knackered with the handling. Let's just park it over here, though. It's a little big for this road. It just drives over stuff, too, rather than... Uh, Yeah, we're probably going to have to make like a shed for it out here or something. I don't know. We'll have to do something for it. Because I don't think it's going to fit like... Maybe around the back. I just don't want to leave it out during horde nights, you know? Because zombies will start beating on it and then it'll be all over. Alright, let's get... Uh... You got a lot bigger storage though. It's about the same as the truck does. No, it's a little less. I think it's like... Slightly less. Alright. Fun times. Let's put the car down. Let's go down to the other trader. Alright, park right here. Be back in a second. Now this guy's got some stuff. Sorry, it's been a week since I recorded, so it's gonna be me trying to remember she is here. Alright, you got some food, which I haven't eaten today before I left, because you know drop your weapons or drop your drawers. How about I do both? That's just creepy. Uh, let's see here. Shotgun turret. No. You had something I wanted though. What was it? Not the wheel. Not the mini bike. Lucky looter volume 7. That was probably one thing. Let's grab some extra shotgun ammo because I got a feeling we're probably going to need that today. Electric fence post. Buy that. Uh, oh, Grandpa's moonshine recipe. I think that might have been it. I don't know. I can't remember. I'm just going to start buying all the stuff I don't have. Structural brace mod. Do we have... Got structural braces on almost all of this stuff here. Yeah, I think we're fine with that. Uh, claw hammer. Generator bank. Don't think I want a second one. Military vest. No. Nothing there. Gunpowder. Hooray for 20 gunpowder. 
gonna go ahead and buy all your glue just because I can. Uh, let's get some stuff to drink here because we certainly need it. I'm gonna buy the meat stew as well. And how are we doing for water? Let's grab the cop. Well, yeah. All right, what else do we have here that we wanted? Do you have steel? Oh, you had oil shale. It's one thing we want. I can't remember if we've got military fiber, but it seems we're fine with that. We don't need any fixes for our weapons. So the repair kit can stay for now. Oil, no. Oh, uh, I'm going to take the handgun parts because I want to build an SMG. We just don't have the levels for it right now. Uh, it'll be really low-level SMG and not worth it. But I want to keep that for Horde Knight too. So buy the bullet casings. Not that we have any gunpowder for any of this stuff, but... Uh, and I think that's about it. I'm sure there was something else I wanted, but... Although I should probably start stocking up on AP ammo. Because as soon as the, uh... The demo starts showing up, I'm going to want to have that. Did you have any AP ammo down here? Do you have any ammo down here? Doesn't look like it. Alright, that's alright. Nothing else. You best be on your way. Uh, I could have used the butts, but it wasn't really worth it. Let's just use that. Use that. We got a couple things here we can sell you. Just gonna sell them to tier fives. We might find some stuff to 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 uh, put in the uh, tier six here today. I think that's it. So we're sitting at what sixty four thousand. That's not bad. Are we done here? We are. All right. Let's use this. We use that, and then I'm gonna use the coffee just before we get there. Is there anything good in here again? I don't think there was. Salmon and chili. Alright, we'll put those in the car. Now we're just- we're gonna be- Oh, hey! Oh! I just got a piece of him. Never a dull day around this wasteland, I'll tell ya. Did he die? I think he did. That must have been a wandering horde. Uh, you know what? Probably not. I bet you it was just the common zombies. So I started... I wanted to see what the feasibility of playing... Uh, this type of game... Uh, oh shit, I left all of my uh, first aid stuff in the other vehicle. In the motorcycle. You know what? Let's go back home. Okay, let's go back home. Uh, but I started playing um, on another map using insane difficulties to start, no traders, so there's no not one trader on the map anywhere. Um, so insane difficulties, no traders, uh, zombies run during the day, and it's the same day-night cycle as this. Uh, let's just drop all this stuff in here. Hang on to that. Right, I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, so, oh, did I, I put the uh, nail gun. Yeah, let's just leave it there for now. Um, so yeah, and oh man, is it brutal. Is it ever brutal. I'm on day, oh yeah, the other thing too is I changed up the, uh, when the horde knights were. Take that. I'm going to take one of these. Uh, er. I'm going to... i got to really decide what we want to take here. I think that's probably it. I don't think there's a vending machine over there, but... Uh, Repair you, let's repair you, and repair you. And then we'll leave these other things in the car here. Yeah, so I set the horde nights for horde every night with a variance of seven days. So the horde could come on anywhere between days one to seven. And then of course whenever it comes, right? <coughs> Excuse me. It can come up to seven days after that too, right? So the first horde came on day six, and I was like, wow, where the hell did that guy go? I launched him into space. The first horde came on day six, and I was like, okay, that, that worked out. And then the second horde 
came on day seven. No, sorry, it came on, yeah, day seven. And then the horde after that came on day nine. So I had three hordes within, three hordes within four days. Why are you after me? I'm not even wounded. Oh, probably because I was in the car. All right, let's clear this. I think these guys came out of the building, maybe? Or are you the, uh, I think they're the victims of my hit and run. Okay, that's a functioning one. Let's just go ahead and hit this up. That uh, guy just vanished. Anyways, yeah, so it was really, really interesting to see uh, how um, how you could survive in a world like that. I haven't died yet with the zombies on insane difficulty. It's, um, it's tricky because with a wooden club, zombies take like six or seven hits to kill. You gotta be very careful, like, when you're attacking them, because you can't take on more than one at a time without them killing you. They hit super hard, they see you from a good distance away, so sneaking in the wasteland is really, really difficult. Because from where I am to that guy, even if I'm sneaking, they can see me during the day. So it's not, uh, it's definitely not easy by any stretch of the imagination. But it's fun, like it's, but I don't think it would, it won't make for a good playthrough on camera because while I'm stealthing kind of in this one as well, that one I'm stealthing all the time. So like, and if I go out to the building next door and come back, that's a win for the day. You know what I mean? Um, because with the double zombies, they, the zombies appear so quickly that, um, you know, I could be surrounded by like, you know, four to eight zombies in no time if I'm not careful. So it's just like, it's when you say it's like nightmare, it totally is. The only thing I'm missing is putting the zombies on sprint. I thought about it. I thought about running with them on sprint to start. And then I'm like, no, cause there's double zombies. It's like, as soon as one sees you, it's going to sprint towards you. And then you got to run or fight it and because you can't kill it really easily you have to fight because if you run then all of a sudden all the other zombies in the area are going to hear you and come after you and all of a sudden it's not one zombie you're fighting anymore it's like it's like 10 to 15. i've been in a few situations like that where it's like you know a zombie shows up And that was not a kill. Oh, you moved. Hey, Mo. There's been several times where it's been like that, where it's like, you know, the zombies show up. You fight one, and then all of a sudden you're fighting a whole, whole crap ton of them, you know? And then you just have to run. You have to just make a break for home. And if you don't go home and hide, and if, if you don't have a good home base, that's really well, these guys are radiated, or feral, I mean, then um, they'll just tear it down. Just because of the sheer strength of the zombies. So I'm trying to talk and play at the same time, it's not always easy. Oh, we got a guy up here. So yeah, it's it's really fun, but it's a very slow play th playthrough, you know. That guy didn't show up on the radar. It's a very very slow playthrough because, like I said, you got to be very careful the whole time. I mean, you always got to be careful, obviously, but And because you can't go to the trader and buy a gun or anything like that, you're you're limited to whatever you find or can make. It's tough trying to decide what to keep and what to throw away. Because you can't sell anything, so now you have to decide, okay, is it worth holding on to it or, or not? You read all the schematics that you can find. Um, we got some more guys inside the... We got two, four... 
Oh, hey buddy, what's up? We gotta kill you first, though. Yep. Alright, it's on. It's on. Let's let him out. Oops. There we go. One down. Oh, it's two bikers. So you really gotta decide, like, in the insane playthrough where you're gonna put your skill points to start. I mean, really, there's no choice. It's, you wanna go with, uh, that guy around back. Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, he's inside. You really wanna go, oh, you came around from behind. You really wanna go with strength. Where is that guy? Oh, there you are. Wait, was he in there? I didn't see him. You want to start off with strength. Like, I did my normal start, where you start with, uh... Oh, God. Okay, you start with, um... Let's just check these real quick. You start with, uh... Pummel Pete. And then you go to, uh... Let's go ahead and use this. Start with Pummel Pete. Um... Sex racks, and then of course your food, right? Master Chef, that is, and then your forge. So you got the first four skill points spent that way. And then uh, right after that, you want to go with uh, strength, and then I um, can't remember. I think I w went straight to, I continued along with the Pummel Pete line and Sex Rex. So I could make a level three baseball bat, but even with a label level three baseball bat, it's still you got to hit the guys quite a few times. Hey, buddy! You got to hit the zombies quite a few times to be able to take them out. Now, I know I can lock pick this, but I'm saving my lock picks for hardened chests if I can. Or oh, three Molotovs. Like that kind of thing, and the and the, my other playthrough, the mol finding a Molotov is like, is like the holy grail of stuff. But yeah, it's like you you're definitely trying to like, and food is the other thing too, right? Because I can't just go to any old, like the vending machine in the trader. I can't go to the trader and buy food because it just doesn't exist. So it's whatever you can find. And the entire playthrough, I've been on the brink of starvation. I haven't got it. It hasn't been so bad that I've actually been close to starving to death, but it's been pretty darn close a few times. Like down to the last little bit, you know? Water isn't so bad, but food, on the other hand, is like a nightmare. Okay, let's get up here. Alright, floor two. I'll grab... Oh, I might grab the stone on the way back, but we're oh shit, we're running out of time here. See what, it, what I what you can see what I mean about my dexterity. All right, um, go close quarters. That's a lot of red dots. Oh hey, bud. Might have to go AK, but we'll see. Okay, we got a sleeper right there. Yeah, I thought that wasn't going to be enough. A little bit of an arc. There we go. Got another one right there. Ah, you didn't run into it, damn it. Come on, bring it in for some hugs. Oh, he went right off. And he went right off. Now, I don't know if those guys can get up to me. So we're probably going to have to go down and get them. What's up, you two? Come on, bring it over here. We've got one runner. One dead runner. Ooh, that's going to hurt in the morning. Speaking of which, pulled my back during the week. Christ, I got, you know, I've got, I've always had a bad back ever since I worked on a golf course to put myself through, uh, college. But, uh, 
Oh man, I tell you this last week has been a real nightmare nightmare for me. Wake up. Ooh. That's gotta hurt. Uh any gas? Ooh, a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. We'll take it. Oh. Ow. Well. Let's go back and check these guys out real quick. I don't want to come back. I mean, I probably sh I don't know. Definitely take that. Might as well use that for the XP. Oh, I'll just go ahead and use that now. So yeah, I mean, it, the, the playthrough is, it's, it's tough, but it's fun. Like, you just have to worry about, like, it's really those first, first few days, you know, are you going to die or not? That's the thing, right? Actually, I might as well just scrap that. Are you going to die or not? And just hoping that you don't starve to death, spending all your time looking for food, because really that's what you're doing. Oh yeah, that's the other thing too. Is I I, I took a, this the skill point in um, uh, being able to find the the, the uh, snakes. My biggest break came when I was in my uh, base. I was working on putting a horde base together, and um, got attacked by a pack of wild dogs while I was putting the base together. And I'm like, well. You get a chance to test the base out. Oh. oh, for crying out loud. Get a chance to test the base out. And uh, I got free meat, so I was able to kill three dogs. And got free meat. That was awesome. Uh, why does that look like a booby trap to me? Looks like it's structurally sound, though. Not going to bother with that bag. It's not worth it at this point. In my career... So yeah, I've been living off wolf meat for a while. Oh. Oh. oh, for crying out loud. Come on, you guys. Control your lanes of fire. Got a freaking abrasion. God damn it. Gonna get attacked by birds now, probably. Let's use that. And let's use this. Alright, let's keep the AK out instead. Seem to be getting better. Shots in with this thing. That should be the end of this floor, though, I think. Oh, yeah, leather couch is not great. Good thing you're moving that in here now. Toilet. Ooh, construction site box. Anything good? Level 5 fire axe. We'll take that to sell. Gonna dig up all this stuff, but not right now. We'll do it on the way out of here. We're running out of time here. Uh, we gotta go up. This way. Got a bag, anything good? Some water maybe? I'll take the sham. Yeah, it's like anytime I find any food in that playthrough, it's a godsend. Like a can of peas, it's like, yeah, peas! Yeah, I found a can of tuna, five, five more food. Somebody, don't tell your friends. Um, this was you wish you had a pipe bomb. You just throw it, bounce it off there. Uh, let's go, AK. Can't afford to make any mistakes here. Okay, maybe. Oh nope. I know I said AK, but I got to the shotgun first. Die. 
again. Ooh, level six. Nice. Level six steer, steel pickaxe. So this whole thing has been worth it now. I know I should get an auger going. But, uh... Okay, now we need to go up here. Well, we missed our, uh... We missed our uh, package, but we'll get that in the way back, I hope. Concrete mixer. Ah, take this. We got stone on us, we'll take that. Oh, great. If that's not a warning, I don't know what is. Yeah, I feel really good about this. Me and my freaking hands. Get the AK out. Just no birds. No birds. Big bucks, no whammies. 100 bucks says this little dot is a fucking bird. <laughs> Screw you! Oh yeah, making that jump's gonna be easy for me. Alright, we got an ammo crate in here now. Uh, what's the best way to do that? Going this way, I guess? Maybe? Maybe not? Come on, give me some candy. Ah! Can't win all the time. Let's go in... Oh, that's uh, bulletproof glass. What's this? Oh, that's a little better. Oh, of course it is. Yeah, so it's weird because in, in that offline playthrough, I'm at a Prowling Pete's, which is like, I think the second series I did, I did it in a Prowling Pete's. I didn't want to be there because I don't like using the same POI more than once. Although now that I've said that, there is a POI that I do like that I'll use more than once uh, in an offline playthrough. But for the most part, I don't like using a POI more than once. Where are my frames? Did I leave them downstairs? Probably. I think I did. You know what? I put them... Ah, oh, I know where they are. I put them inside. How do I... Uh, no. Don't make me climb up on that. Yeah, I'm totally feeling confident about this shit. Okay, well. It's a lot of guys. Didn't think I was going to make that for a second. Got someone right there. That's a military guy. That's probably Big Mama. Those are not one-shots. We can get a couple of one-shots here. That would be nice. I don't think we're going to, though. This is These guys are going to be relatively tough, I think. Yeah. We got... Hawaiian dude, Hawaiian dude. Oh, that could be Kenny there. I recognize his foot. Yep. And of course he's feral. Okay, military guy heard me. But it don't matter, we're waking him up. Well, that was lucky. Fuck you, fucking birds. How did I miss all that? I don't know. My skill at missing is world renowned apparently. But he's down. OK, 
Okay, he's dead. I was hoping he wasn't going to fall off the building there. Do a dance for me, Mo. He's gone. Still got a whole crap ton down there. Don't fall off. What do we got? Four? Five? Who's banging on what? Oh, maybe there's some up here. How am I hitting that? Alright, well... I think they're up here. Let's go find out. Check this first. So it's a spider zombie. Um, there we go. Come on, you guys. Bring it in. Kill zone alpha. We got a spider monkey and it sounds like a mo. Uh, we got to get up here. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, gee, okay. Damn it. <laughs> I can walk over those. That's right. So they're underneath me here somewhere. All right, let's loot this shiz. We're going to be here tonight. That's fine. I don't care. We're going to, uh, I'm going to dig up all this stuff on the way down. Level 1 auger. I'm starting to consider using the auger now down below. I just didn't want screamers, but I think now I'm at a point where screamers aren't really going to bug me all that much. Earlier in the game, screamers were like, yeah, we don't want those. But now it's like, I don't care. Tell pistol. Nope. Let's get rid of you. I think... All right, this is intact. One of these drops away. I think it's below us, though. Let's grab the main loot here. Don't need you. We'll take the rest. Most likely, I'll eat all that before we go down. Shotgun Messiah. Passing gas. Yeah, it's terrible in my other my offline playthrough when you come across something like this because it's like, do I open it and hopefully find something okay, or do I wait a few more levels and then open it? And hopefully find something a little better. It's always tough to decide that. Ooh, that's nice. Take that to sell. Just go ahead and scrap these guys. Let's use this. There's Nightfall. Working stiffs. Ah, just scrap that. Take the parts. Yeah. Well. Almost didn't seem worth it. Okay, um... Let's modify some stuff here. Actually, let's scrap this. We can scrap these. Go ahead and use this. Scrap the can. Don't have anything to put this on, unfortunately. And we don't have any other helmets. Okay, well. Actually, can we make an auger yet? We can't. Okay. Don't know if that level... <sighs> I gotta scrap the auger. The only reason why I'm saying is that I got lots of food. Um, so, smashing through stuff now with this level 6 will be a lot faster. I'll have four mods on it. Gotta get Iron Breaker, though. Um, yeah, and you know... Let's just use this. Then when we get the, when we get an auger, um, nothing in there. Uh, when we get a ability to get a higher level auger, we'll go ahead and uh, use a higher level one. It's just the gas, right? It's all going to come down to how much gas everything's going to use. We got to save it for the vehicles if we're going to survive this. The fire truck is nice, but like, it just takes forever. Now we need to go down. So I'm going to start knocking up all this stuff on the way down. 
and then uh, once we get to the last which I think the last room is down there uh, I'll cut back in oh yeah one shot in this now look at this you know my son asked me in the past why I bother even breaking these things up it's like look at it this way it's a one hit and so those stone piles with this thing anyway it's a one hit it's 200 hit points right so if I go against the wall like this right that's what 201 damage so stone down below will give you the exact same amount as one of those rock piles will when you break it but I have to hit it three times so that's why I do it okay I think this is the one where the floor breaks through and our guys that we have to kill I think are down here so that breaks away let's check this nothing take the forged iron we'll go ahead and scrap this uh, what else do we got here some aloe cream Actually, that'll help with the abrasion, I think. Let's use one of these. It does. Reduces it by half. Okay. That's all right. We'll take that. Whoa. Nobody in here? Oh, clear areas is done. I thought we had two guys left. Oh, there's a level three auger. And some repair kits. So let's go ahead, drop in that. Bring this out. And we'll repair the tier six stuff. Might as well just read this. Uh, let's repair this. And I'm going to repair this as well. I can bring that out. What else do we got here? Two more repair kits. Let's just go ahead and use this up. I don't know why I'm being so frugal with a lot of this stuff. Scrap that. Let's just use this. can will drop let's repair you we'll probably hang on to that and repair that let's go ahead and use you We didn't make out too bad. Didn't make out too bad. All right. Well, let's get out of here. How do I get out of this place now? Not that way. I guess I got to pull back up. Couldn't give me a ladder, huh? All right. Ooh, starting to find some half decent stuff here. I got to decide what I'm going to ditch. We may want to swap that out. Go with the battle axe of doom. Oh, of course. Oh, is this? Oh, it's the oh shit drop. We can actually just take that and jump off here. But I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go down and. Uh, yeah. Okay. What do we not want here? Want to keep that? Let's just scrap this guy. Take the oh shit drop. Okay, you know what's bad about using this mod with the uh, fog? Is I can't see which way to drop down. <laughs> I have no idea how to get out of here. I, I don't know. Okay. I'll figure it out. I think I found it here. Here we go. Nice. All right, we've already been through that. All right, I'm going to finish looting this place, and I'll see you guys at the bottom. All right, so we're almost at the bottom here. It's 2.30. What much have I got here? Oh, wow, I got a stack and a bit of stone. That's kind of nice. Didn't use the oh shit drops. But we got a few zombies down here. I'm not that worried about it. We picked up a level, though, so let's have a look. We got two points available. Now, let's go through our skills here really quick. 
kind of refamiliarize myself. I got three in salvage operations, just because we want to get as much fuel as possible when we're salvaging. Two in demo expert. I mean, we could go up two more in perception. But you know what? I think we were thinking about yeah, we want to we want to get our SMG up. The ability to make a good SMG. So let's go. Uh, let's go agility, and we'll go gunslinger. That's a level three SMG, and then I think we'll go agility gunslinger for the next two. That'll give us a level four SMG, which I'll probably start rolling with. Hello. You might as well bring all your friends in because they're going to be coming anyway. I see you in the fog. That was a feral nurse. Now they can get up here, so I want them to... Oh, there you are. That should be it, I think. If there's anybody else, they'll let me know by now, I think. So I'm just going to grab the rest of the stone here. And whatever else I can find on the main level. we got to find the... Uh, the bag. It's down here somewhere. Don't want to mess up like I did before and lose this quest because I didn't pick up the stupid bag. Okay, where are you? Over here somewhere. Man, I am not going to have to go digging stone for a while. It's like right here in the open, I bet. Well, not in the open, but we walk right by it at the very beginning. And I got no room for it, because of course I don't. Uh, what's the chance that we're going to need oh shits drops? Probably like never. Well, let's hang on. Well, you know what? Ah, oh, God, really? That's a wandering horde. That's scary as fuck. I can't even see them. Well, we know they're over there. That's where my mine is, too. I think that's the mine... There was, we had a mine that was outside of our mine, if that makes any sense. Uh, anything we could just scrap. I should just throw this away. How much is this worth? Nothing. Driving home at night should be fun. Look at this, man. So I don't know if I ever told you guys about the story of my wife and whatever and uh, her old boyfriend. They were. Uh, taking a trip one time and they went down to New England and I think they were was it Salem it was somewhere that's the trader so they were down I think it was Salem oh there's a car here let's drive over it why not um, but they were driving along and the fog was just like this they said it was like pea soup and of course the roads there are just like you know enough room for one car and that's about it hey buddy so they're driving along Where's the turn here? Right here. Anyways, they're driving along and they start hearing this And it was getting really spooky. Anyway, my wife's like, stop the car. And her boyfriend's like, what? Now oh, we're fine. She's like, no, stop the car. Something's wrong. Stop the car. So they stopped the car. They got out and looked. And they were sitting on a pier. 
if they had gone any further, they would have driven right off and into the water. And that's why you don't drive it on nights like this. Anyway, I'm going to take this stuff inside and end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Tomorrow, we're going to go turn this quest in. It's day 49. I'll probably just work around the house tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But I'm, I'm interested to see how intense this next Horde Night's going to be. Um, I don't know if it'll be that bad, but we'll see how it goes. I'll get some work done in the house while we're here. We got a little, more, a little bit more wood now. I want to get this flash out. I want to knock all this down, I think, to put in the drawbridge. But we got to get the kitchen moved downstairs. So I might work on some boxes for downstairs tonight. Get the kitchen downstairs sorted out. All right. But I need to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.